What's up guys? I am back with another Heisman Collection video. This time I was able to pull Eddie George. Some of you guys seen it in the live stream. And that's the one I'm going to complete. Here I let you know uh, you get a thousand coins for collecting each of those cards. And with this series I pretty much tell you whether or not the card is worth keeping or putting them on the auction house. Me personally I think that Almost all of these cards are worth putting right back on the auction house. Here's a look at his stats once you collect the first version. There's also another version right after this. Here's the price that we could have sold them for. Uh, 14500 around there. Uh, me personally, I have the coins. I don't need them, so I'm going to go on ahead and do the collection. Now we have to gear up to play the game. Go to Heisman. All of these games are done on All-American difficulty. But this particularly, this particularly, oh my goodness, this particular game, I actually struggled with. And I'll explain why, and um, you know, I'll give some tips if you need any on how to beat this one. And normally when I play these solo challenges, I'm normally laying down on my way to sleep. <laughs> and I had gotten to a point where I said, hold up, I have to actually sit up as I give a shout out to the Wiser fan. Uh, so yeah. For most of you who have already seen my my challenge videos or whatever these are called, I normally say, you know, sell the card because when you do the whole collection and get the final card, one, you pretty much get 3,000 coins for finishing the entire thing. That's 2,000 for collecting the first two cards, 1,000 for collecting the, uh, you know, the second card or the second Eddie George card. And, you know, once you collect the first one, the first, I mean, the second Eddie George card and the final Eddie George card, none of them are auctionable. The pieces aren't auctionable, nothing. So, if you are in the need of coins, I always say sell these things because they're much more worth it when you do. Uh, but, let me say, this Eddie George is a powerhouse. He's extremely slow, but he's really hard to bring down. And he'll break tackles like, oh, he'll run your guys over. Just like I'm doing with Andre Ware. Um, so, yeah, let me say this. Even though you see me running the ball, like, a lot here. One thing I want to say is they play the run extremely well. Whether it's a counter, a draw, a dive, a power, quarterback wrap, quarterback option options itself triple option they play it well their linebackers are legit also their defensive line i don't know what blitz it is that they be running at me but man they be it was killing me they were really killing me as here they get the field goal that's gonna pretty much bring them into the half so <clears throat> So one thing that you want to do, of course, you want to watch out for their defense. But one thing I noticed, they didn't run the ball much. They actually started out their first two series were all pass plays from the very first snap. All pass plays. And I don't think Eddie George got into the game until the second drive of theirs. Um, and I have, that's the elite Darren McFadden that I ended up pulling. Um, I don't actually have a pack pulling episode for him, so I'll just spoil it now and say I pulled him. And, um... Yeah, so the Eddie George wasn't even in there. They went pass happy at first. So what I did was I sent blitzes at him. You know, I, I sent the little pressure his way, and I just, you know, sometimes that that uh, Troy Smith will take off on you, but their offense really isn't that hard to contain. It really isn't. Just if you want, you could go to dime. You could do some quarters defenses. It, it really isn't hard. The problem is defense because their linebackers and their defensive line is so good. Look at this. I'm I'm stiff arming guys and it's just like they're swarming. Their pursuit is on point. Here we're running the option. I pitch the thing because I have to and look. These guys are spot on. But you just have to keep trying at it. You know, I turned it over on downs there, but you just got to stick with it. You get the uh you get the wow, he just ran my man over like that. That's what I mean. Eddie George is hard to bring down once he gets going. But they didn't run the ball a lot. Here they go into him again. And we had a bunch of guys over there because of the option. I told you guys how to defend the option in the last video that I did when I explained the 
what is it, the Impossible Team Challenge. And I got a lot of guys that got back to me saying, hey, thanks for you putting out that Impossible Team Challenge video. It's right after I watched the video, I used those tips and I smacked it. So, you know, that's good positive things that I like to hear that I actually help. Hair, you want to put the tempo on conservative so the clock just runs and runs and runs. You want to keep pressure on the quarterback and just keep running the ball. Once you get a lead, keep running the ball. <laughs> and here I get burnt by Marvin McNutts. Oh, that can only mean one thing. This game is almost over. Here we get a flag as we got them, coach, but it doesn't count. It doesn't matter because they're going to they're gonna get a touchdown. I'm going to go on ahead and spoil that for you. But we get the ball back and we hold on to it. So, yeah, don't play gutsy like me. I, I, I was going for it on every fourth down just because he killed me on that slant. Jesus Christ. Uh, I was going for it on every fourth, you know, just to mess around with it and see, you know, what I could get away with as Eddie George just pounds his way in there. They also got a pretty good offensive line once they actually do run the ball. But here, because we have no sportsmanship, pass lead outside, Larry Fitzgerald going up for it and gets in the end zone for a last second touchdown. Now look at the time of possession that I have here. I did not let them touch the ball. Um, but nonetheless, the Heisman Challenge, the, the game, it was okay. Um, it, it made me sit up because I like to run the ball and those guys were covering the run pretty well. Here, I'm gonna show you the cards that you collect once you finish that game. You don't get any coins for beating the game, you just get a card. So, we're gonna collect the Eddie George piece first and you get zero coins for collecting the piece. We're gonna collect that Eddie George, we're gonna get our thousand coins. So that right there is what I mean. We made 3,000 coins for doing a challenge or we could have sold them for 14,000. You do the math, 11,000 coin profit. Let's flip that guy over. These are his stats, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go more in depth on his stats. I'm gonna show you his depth chart stats, but 90 speed. The 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 perfect thing about this car is the truck, the carry, and the awareness. And actually, he has really good acceleration. Now here he is compared to the Heisman finalist or the Heisman Award winner Mark Ingram and uh, Elite McFadden and Adrian Peterson. I think that personally, out of this bunch, Adrian Peterson's the best running back. Clearly. I mean, I played with McFadden, and he doesn't hold a candle to the Adrian Peterson. That's that's just me. Maybe it's the way I play. I don't know, but Adrian Peterson gets it done. Uh, Eddie George, I haven't tried him out, but I played against one guy that used him against me, and he was an ox. I actually ended up losing the game because we couldn't bring the guy down. Even in the open field, it would take a while to catch up to him to bring him down because he has such a good acceleration i think his acceleration is like a 93 or something like that but uh yeah the ingram pretty much a piece of crap and if you saw me do that video which was my first heisman collection challenge video really is worthless um so if you get that card sell it immediately because there's no benefit in and winning it so uh that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed Hope I helped you make your decision on whether or not you want to get this card and finish the collection. Again, if you don't need the coins, sell the card. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.